Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain the solution of tutorial sheet 6. In question number 1 we have to find out the derivative of w with respect to u t using the chain rule. Here w is a function of two variables x and y for the x y they are depending on the variable t. We have to find out the derivative of w with respect to t using the chain rule. So the chain rule says first find its derivative with respect to x then take the derivative of x with respect to t plus the derivative of w with respect to y and then the derivative of y with respect to t whenever we are having a function of two independent variables we denote the derivative with the partial and whenever the functions are the functions of single variable we denote the derivative with the simple dx by dt so find all these when you have to find out the partial derivative of some function with respect to some independent variable we have to treat another variables to be constant right so now what is the derivative of w with respect to x this will be 2x what is the derivative of x with respect to t it is minus sin t plus cos t same we find out the partial derivative of w with respect to y and dy by dt now you simplify all these simplify all this you will see when you put the value of x in terms of t and open it the terms are cancel out and you get the derivative will be zero same way you can do question number 1b part here again w is a function of three independent variables x y z and further x y z they are the functions of t so by using chain rule you have to find out the derivative of w with respect to t so since we know that uh, first we have to take the derivative of w with respect to x the next with respect to t plus the derivative of w with respect to y then with respect to t plus the derivative of w with respect to z and z with respect to t here w is a function of three independent variables so whenever we talk about the derivative of w with respect to x y and z it comes out in the terms of partial right and further x y z they are the functions of t alone so here we will write this as dx by dt dy by dt and dz by dt now find all these values substitute over here convert it into t by substituting x to be in terms of t y to be in terms of t and z to be in terms of t then find its value at t is equal to 1 by substituting t to be 1 you can find out the value of derivative with respect to t in question number 2 you have to find out the partial derivative of z with respect to u at this point if z is a function of x y and further x y they are the functions of two variables u and v again we will apply the chain rule since we want to find out the derivative of z with respect to u so first we take its derivative with respect to x then with respect to u plus take its derivative with respect to y and then the derivative of y with respect to u but since z is a function of two variables further x y they are the functions of two variables so here the derivatives will be come in the terms of partial now you just simply substitute the very derivative of uh, de uh, z with respect to x then x with respect to u and so on simplify it you will get the value of derivative of z with respect to u at a given point same way question number 3 if z is a function of x y and for the x and y they are the functions of u v we can show that this equation right for this we have to consider the left hand side for left hand side we have to find out the partial derivative of f with respect to u as well as the partial derivative of f with respect to v by using the chain rule so this says that take the partial derivative of f with respect to x first then the derivative of x with respect to u plus derivative of f with respect to y and then the derivative of y with respect to u all these derivatives comes in the terms of partial because we are having a function more than one independent variable now substitute all these values since uh, the function is not given to us so we remains it as it is right similarly find out partial derivative of f with respect to v now substitute in the left hand side after simplifying we get it is equal to the right hand side 
same way question number four here we are having a function of three independent variables further these three independent variables are the function of another three independent variables and we have to show that this left hand side is same as that right hand side so we will find out uh, the, the derivative this this and this using the chain rule substitute in the left hand side after simplifying we get this is equal to the right hand side in the C question number seven, here we have to find out the partial derivative of u with respect to x as well as u with respect to y if the functions are this. So here u is a depending on pqr, for the pqr the functions of x, y, z. Again we have to apply the chain rule, substitute all these derivatives, simplify it, we will get the value of this at this point, root 3, 2, 1. same way in question number seven second part again we are having u as a function of pqr and further pqr the functions of x y z so if we want to find out the derivative of u with respect to x and u with respect to y we have to apply the chain rule and then you substitute all these values after simplifying you get the value of derivative same in the question number eight here z is a function of x alone and further x and uh, x is a function of u and v so if we want to find out the partial derivative of z with respect to u we have to apply the chain rule first take its derivative with respect to x then the derivative of x with respect to u now since z is a function of x alone so here the derivative is a simple derivative and since x depending on 2 so here the derivative is partial derivative now substitute all these values simplify it we will get the value of derivatives in question number nine we have to find out the directional derivative of the function at the point one two three in the direction of the line pq where q has a coordinate this in what direction it will be maximum and what is its value now since we know that what is the directional derivative it's a derivative of a function in a particular direction at some given point so here this is a function this is the point and the direction is a line pq so we have to find out first of all the coordinates for pq and that will be 5 minus 1 right then minus 0, uh, zero minus 2j plus 4 minus 3k so pq vector will become this one now find its direction means take uh, divide by its magnitude we will get the direction a unit vector now directional derivative is the gradient of f at point p dot product with the unit vector so first of all we find out the gradient that is the partial derivative of f with respect to x i plus partial derivative of f with respect to y j plus partial derivative of f with respect to z k substitute over here what is the partial derivative of this function with respect to x this is 2x what's the partial derivative of this with respect to y it's minus 2y and its partial derivative with respect to z is 4z now find this value at 1 2 3 so substitute over here we get this is the gradient at 1 2 3 now to take the dot product of this and this we will get the directional derivative of the function at this point in a direction of u cap now the further question is in what direction it will be maximum and what is its value we know that the derivative will be maximum in the direction of gradient right and here the gradient is this one 2i cap minus 4j cap plus 12k so the direction will be divided by its magnitude so this is the direction and the value of derivative in this direction is mod of del f which is the square root of 164 in question number 10 first part we have to find out the directional derivatives of the following function at the given point in a particular direction so that will be the dot product of gradient and unit vector so first of all find out the gradient at a point then take its dot product with the unit vector so here it is not a unit vector so first of all divide by its magnitude and make it unit and then take the dot product you will get the value of directional derivative same way b part c part now question number 11 in question number 11 the temperature at any point in the space is given by this function a uh, mosquito located at this point desires to fly in such a direction that it will get warm as soon as possible so in what direction should it fly here the temperature is given by this 
point is this we want the maximum temperature so that the mosquito will get warm as soon as possible as we know that the temperature will be maximum in the direction of del t means the gradient of t so we will find out the gradient first at the given point so the direction will be the direction of gradient means this divide by its magnitude so this is the direction where the mosquito should fly so that it will get warm as soon as possible and the temperature in this direction is the mod of del f which is 3 same way question number 12 we have to find out the direction in which the function increases and decreases most rapidly at some point since we know that the function increases in the direction of gradient and the value of derivative will be mod of del f in this direction and decreases in the direction of minus of gradient and the derivative is minus of mod of del f so we can find out first the del f which is gradient at a point then it will be increases rapidly in the direction of del f means this the value of derivative will be this similarly decreases in the direction of minus of del f this and the derivative is this same way b part c part and d part 